What up, hunty? Welcome to Way of Yao. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is so long overdue. It is my highlighting and contouring routine for dark skin. If you enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're not already a part of the family, you know what to do. So I'm going to start off by moisturizing my skin using my Nivea face cream. This is just really thick, nice and rich. Now I'm going to be using my MAC Fix Plus to add further moisture to my skin and give it that nice dewy finish. Now for a primer, I'm going to be using the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. I only started using a primer recently because I just didn't believe in it. But when I saw the smoothness of my skin with this one, girl, I'm not going back. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using my Total Control Drop Foundation from NYX Professional Makeup. This is just a beautiful foundation and I'm placing it in the center of my face. And now for some more definition, I'm going to be using my Tilt Foundation. This is in the colour 120. This is the darkest foundation I have ever found and I'm placing that on the perimeters of my face. And now I'm taking a damp sponge and I'm making it even more damp using more, some more Fix Plus just to, you know, blend everything together and make sure it blends in nice and seamlessly. I start off by blending out the lighter foundation first and then blending that into the darker one and making sure that they are both nice and seamless. Yes, queen, get me snatched. Now for highlighting, I am gonna be layering two highlighters from LA Girl. These are the best concealers I have found and they are so affordable. So I'm gonna start off with Dark Cocoa and in the middle of that, I'm gonna be putting Fawn in there. Fawn is such a popular shade and I found that it was just a little bit too light for me so I like to layer it with Dark Cocoa. I'm gonna blend them all out now and make sure it is nice and seamless and also that extra foundation from the sponge is going to really help to blend the concealer into the foundation and make it a lot more seamless so I'm blending out the edges of the concealer now and making sure that I am looking as snatched now to set my highlighted areas I'm going to be mixing some of my Ben Nye powder in the color Sienna with my Laura Mercier medium to dark powder I really like mixing things together as you can see. I just found that the medium dark Laura Mercier powder was a little bit too ashy whereas the Sienna was a little bit too orange so a mix of the two is perfect for me. So I'm really just going to press that into the skin and make sure it is nice and laid. And now to set the darker areas of my face I'm going to be using the Ebony Translucent Powder from Ben Nye. I'm really, really blending that one into the highlight powder and making sure that it is very nice and seamless and blending it all together so that it just works a lot more cohesively and it doesn't have extremely sharp lines. I mean, I do like having some definition, but I don't want it to be too, too harsh. Now I'm just going to set my eyelid area with a bit of that highlight powder as well and then I'm going to get back to blending everything together. When I'm happy with that, I'm gonna add an extra little bit of baking powder to my under eye area. Well, not actual baking powder, but you know what I mean. Powder to bake the under eye area and give it that really cunty snatched look. Now I'm going to contour using my deep contouring powder from LA Girl. I'm really just gonna work that in to my cheekbone area. Just keep going back and forth back and forth gonna snatch the nose a little bit you know we like a little bit of a snatch now I'm gonna be using my favorite blush from MAC this is in the color film noir and I'm just gonna layer that on top of my contour it just really helps to deepen it even further and give it that nice warm rich chocolatey look and now I'm gonna reverse contour with some more of that ebony powder just to make sure that my cheekbones are popping, snatched and defined. For deeper skin, it is really nice to do that because it really does help to make sure that the contour is showing. Now I'm going to blend off all of my powder and make sure everything is blended really nicely. 
I'm gonna sweep away my reverse contour as well and blend everything together. Yes! Now for highlight, I'm gonna be using a very natural highlight. This is very nice and subtle. I always use this one as my base and this highlight is from Primark. It was only three fucking pounds and girl, I was officially snatched. Like, I am beaming, but it's like a subtle beam. It's not like a, girl, I'm here to snatch your life beam. It's more like a, you know, I'm just here to blind you a little bit like I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of sight but not too much ah! why am I talking so much shit anyway so I'm gonna place it on my cheekbones my chin my nose underneath my brows and make sure that all of the high points of my face are popping yes literally I am not playing with this highlight I do use a lot and now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I mean, that is basically the foundation highlight and contour routine finished. But now I'm going to just show you guys how I finish off the look. So I'm using my NYX Professional Makeup Glam Liner. And I'm just going to extend my inner corners and go underneath my lash line. And now I'm using my mascara. Literally any mascara will do it. And as you can see, we are now officially snatched. And that is a wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to hit that like button if you actually enjoyed it and do not forget to subscribe guys and i'll see you in the next one bye